Let, let's do start with softball um, because it is a big story. It's a good leadoff. The Sooners 16 to know. The the story here is Jocelyn Allo. This is a we we've talked in depth how good this softball team is. We've talked about Jordy Ball and and Shan, uh, sorry to say Shannon Sale, Nicole May. The, these ladies that are that are just doing the job in the circle, which is anchoring this team offensively. They're they're just as good, if not better, as what they've been in the past. But Jocelyn Allo remains a story for this team for two reasons. Reason number one is she's. I mean, this is. Not, not anything breaking, right? She's she's one home run away from setting the record for the NCAA career home run mark. So that's that's a storyline in itself right there. But then she also remains the storyline because of how opponents have elected to, shall we just say, not pitch to her. I started to say how they, they've elected They've changed how they're going to pitch to her, but they're really not. They're not pitching to her. It's walk city for Jocelyn Allo, which man, there's a lot of people out there. I always love it how when you have a coach who's achieved the level of success that Patty Gasso has, yet there's going to be so many people out there on social media and on message boards and internet in general who can help her do her job even better. Now let's keep in mind this team is 16 and 0. They're number one in the country, and it's not even close based on what we've seen so far. But yeah, people people got ideas. Hey Patty, why don't you try this? Hey Patty, I don't understand why you're not doing. The reason why you don't understand why she's not doing what she's doing is because you're not the best softball coach in America. She is. And so yeah, I get it. Let's let's move the lineup. Let's just change the lineup order, right? Well, Patty's done that. You get people on base, Patty's done that. They're not going to walk, jo they're not going to pitch to Jocelyn Allo. And, and the idea, it just, just my humble opinion as a guy who also is not Patty Gasso, but has been around this team for a long time. I've interviewed Jocelyn Allo many times. I've interviewed Patty Gasso many times. Just my thought is this. If you put someone on base ahead of Jocelyn Allo, that makes them less likely to pitch to Jocelyn Allo. Because if you, if the way it stands now, you pitch to Jocelyn Allo, you might give up a single home run. You pitch to Jocelyn Allo with runners on base, you're going to give up a multiple run home run. And so that, that idea of moving Jossie throughout the lineup to try to get people in front of her, the only way, the only way, no, it's not even going to work. I'd say the only way you wouldn't pitch to her, and I've talked about this before, the only way you wouldn't pitch to Jocelyn Allo is if the bases are loaded. But yet still, the coach's mindset is going to be giving up, walking in a run, walking in one run is always going to be better than giving up a grand slam. So there is no easy solution. It's just going to come down to which pitcher wants to go in the record book as being the pitcher who gives up the, the record-breaking home run. If you're old enough to remember Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa in the 90s, that home run derby those two guys had as they're trying to set records. The only difference here is Jocelyn Allo is not on steroids. But, I mean, it's the same thing. No one wants to be that guy, Right. And in this situation, no one wants to be that girl. And to make it an extension out from there, no one wants to be that team. All that said, I do think this changes. I think Jossie sets the record this coming weekend. Uh, she's going back to Hawaii. The Sooners are participating in the Rainbow Classic. They begin on Thursday with Baylor. Now, this is a, a conference team, but it's a non-conference game. I don't think Baylor is going to give it up to her. Uh, Cal may not give it up to her. But if she doesn't get it before Baylor, before Cal, if she goes into the last two games of this classic, still looking for that home run, Hawaii is going to give it to her. Uh, th this kid has done so much for the sport of softball. She's done so much for softball in the state of Hawaii. This is going home for her. The only reason, I'm, I'm telling you, the only reason that – Oklahoma is participating in this classic is because of Jocelyn Allo. 
This is taking Jossie home her senior year, her, her super senior year, her last year of college eligibility. This is a reward for Jocelyn Olive for what she's done for this program. And it's also a reward for the state of Hawaii who produced this incredibly historic player. Hawaii is going to give it to her. I'm just telling you right now, if, if she doesn't get it against Baylor, if she doesn't get it against Cal, I think they're going to follow suit to what these other schools have been doing uh, the last week and a half. Hawaii, just mark it down, Hawaii will give her the record.